Hi guys, how are you guys doing? It's been a little bit since uh, I did a video on Stardew and you guys have been asking me a lot of questions and I figured, you know, it's probably about time that I answered a few of these questions and showed you guys some more tips and tricks related to clay farming. If you haven't watched the tutorial video, you probably should because I'm not really gonna go over the basics of clay farming in this video. I'm just going to be talking about cool tips and tricks. First thing I need to throw out there is that you guys have been asking me a lot about whether this works on the Switch or not. This particular pattern, as far as I know, does not work on the Switch. So I apologize in advance. I don't know why it doesn't work, um, but it's not the same as PC. I've only ever played on PC. That's my experience. With that said, I have learned a few new tips and tricks from Piano underscore Addict, and it's freaking Ethan. So shout out to those guys. Thanks, dudes. Another huge question, one that you guys have been asking is, I watched your tutorial, I followed the, you know, the, the 646411 and like my clay pattern breaks, like what, what's going on? Like, why does it happen? Well, that's, that's true. It does happen and breaks. I can't explain it. I don't know why it breaks. However, I have a bandaid fix that should help. So what we're going to do, okay, is I'm going to find a new pattern and hopefully this pattern breaks the first time and doesn't go all the way and gives a six clay and then plus four, you know what I mean? Okay, let's find a broken pattern. Let's go here, let's use our hoe. So let's find our initial clay spot right here. Perfect, okay, so we found one. Fingers crossed this is broken and not like a legit string of clay. So up, there we go, not looking great. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. So the clay pattern breaks at the very end, right? We got the first five spots. Perfect. We got clay, but the six bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the four, four fix method, which I learned from piano. So what I mean by that is on the tile that you find doesn't give you clay. We're going to go four to the left and then four down. And bam, there's your new starting point. This clay, you can follow it all the way out and it should like 99.9% .9 out of 100 million. I don't know what I'm going. It should work, basically. This is your new starting point. Then you go up here, three, four, five, and then six. Boom, nice, look, it fixed it. I don't know how, but it did, cool. Also, I should probably mention, so we found the fix, right? The four, four, let's try it again. Let's go, we'll pop some coffee so we zoom doesn't really matter. We'll just, uh, just clear this up a little bit so we have some space. And then actually I'll just get rid of all of it. Just really fast. So let's try, uh, this might take a minute. So buckle up just right here is fine. Hopefully this is broken. If it's not broken, I want to find another one. Oh, whoops. Okay. So we'll mark this with a torch because that signifies where the pattern starts. I have a tendency to go a little fast sometimes, so I have been using torches as a place marker. So that's our initial spot. We'll go up to the next one. Oh, perfect. Oh, this is really good. Okay, this is exactly what we wanted. So the pattern breaks immediately. That's annoying, it's frustrating. You guys have been telling me about this again. So let's apply what we know, four, four. So let's go four to the left. One, two, three, four, four down. One, two, three, four. Bam, Woo. nice, okay. Maybe I'm blowing smoke, maybe this doesn't work. Let's follow it out. Three, four, five, six. Oh my, dude, like, it works. It just works. Can, I can't explain it, but it just worked. So if your pattern tends to break, a good solution is going four to the left and then four down. Let's just, let's just play out the rest of this, okay? Another tip is make sure to count. I've been told this a million times and it didn't, I just was being stubborn. I wasn't counting while I was doing this and it makes it a lot harder. There's a ton of like stuff, right? There's tons of tilled spots. There's, I, I can't do this without getting confused and this is working out really well. Now that we have all of our farm tilled, let's go to Robin's before she closes. And now that we're inside Robin's house, we will go to construct farm buildings, okay? Now, this requires either a shipping bin, the default one the game comes with, or you can make a cabin of your choosing. So what you do when you want to clean your farm of all the tillable spots, you hit the move building button, and then you come down over here. I made the cabin because I don't have the patience anymore. 
and you place the cabin on top of the tilled spots and just like magic they're gone so you do this to reset all the spots you can and then oh you can't go over torches though but you can get rid of seeds and uh seeds and weeds i guess Another tip that's kind of helpful is you can buy salads, which are the most cost efficient thing you can you can buy consistently and coffee in the early stages of the game. Coffee is very good because it allows you to run faster and you can with animation canceling, you can find clay a lot faster. So I showed you guys the four four. Now I want to show you guys the three two in the upward direction and then the two three in the downward direction to correct a spot that's untillable. So let's just, I want to pick a spot that's close to the house. So ideally it gets obstructed or we get a bad pattern or whatever, but let's apply what we know. Okay. Here. Oh, whoops. I did it again. Well, that's fine. So three, four. Okay, cool. So now let's get rid of these. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Is this the right spot? Nice. So our pattern broke. We applied the four, four. This is our new one, one. Wow, that's a lot of weird numbers. So then three, four, five, six. Cool. Let's do it over here. One, two. Okay, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. So now that the pattern is under the house, one of the solutions here is going two down and three to the right so let's do that let's go one two one two three boom and there we go that counts as our next tile well we run into a problem the next tile is very clearly under the house too right well something i've noticed that seems to work sometimes is that off of this tile right here we can do the just a classic one two, three, and it should give us clay. And then we go back here and then reset, right? Go over it all again. And then we go here and then uh, it's stuck. Then we do the same thing, right? One, two, one, two, three. And then we can just kind of maybe do the same thing. And then it's stuck again. So then we go one, two, one, two, three. And then like, for some reason it just keeps working. It's a little complicated, but when you get stuck, you can use the 3-2 upward method or you can do the 2-3 downward method. Uh, your farm is actually a better spot to farm clay than the beach is. The beach is a really good introduction area to clay farming because it resets every day. I didn't know about the cabin trick to remove all of the tilled spots on your farm until pretty recently. You can still do it on your farm, but you need it to be clean, which the beach usually is pretty empty. The beach is better for intro level learning, whereas the farm has the most lucrative potential. Again, just as a quick another reminder, 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 we learned the 4-4 pattern correction in case we lose clay, pattern breaks, fix it. And then we also learned the three to the left and then two up shift, and then the two down, three to the right shift if there's a unblockable or if there's an untillable tile. But yeah, I think that's probably going to do it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Make sure to do the thumbs up, hit the little bell, all that stuff. Feel free to drop comments, concerns, thoughts, opinions, all that fun stuff as well. Until next time, catch you guys later.